A few days ago I bought the Sigma 30mm f1.4 Art. I was really excited to get the lens, but already after a few test shots I realized that this lens has a front focusing problem. This means that in all pictures not the area that I put the focus on is sharp, but always an area that is a few centimeters in front. Since the problem was very severe, I ordered a new one. This one also had the same issue, but it was not as bad. If a lens has a bad autofocusing system and the focus is wrong every time, but there isn't any pattern, it is very hard to fix it. But since the repeatability was high, means it was always front focus, never back focus, and not just randomly wrong, it can be fixed. Sigma offers an USB dock for their art lenses. You install the software called Sigma Optimization Pro, connect your lens to the dock and plug it into your computer. Now you can adjust the focus distance with the software. In order to make the correct adjustments, I recommend to build the same thing I did. You need a ruler which you tape on a box in a slight angle. Choose one number as your optimal number and make sure that it is on the exact same level as the area you will focus at. In my case it is the 10. The area you focus on needs a high contrast level. I drew a black cross on it. For the closer pictures, a small one, for the more far away pictures, a bigger one. Especially the one for close up shots should be quite close to the ruler, so that you don't get false results because the distance between the cross and the ruler is too big. For pictures that are more distant you need a bigger cross to make sure that your lens really focuses on the cross and not another object. You need to be in a bright environment and you have to use a tripod. You cannot use a live screen focus because then another focusing method is used and you will not get proper results. Make sure your camera only uses the center focus point. Now we are ready for the first picture. Since I use a prime lens I only have to make the adjustment with one vocal length which is 30mm. If you have a zoom lens, well, then have fun. It will take you much longer since you have to do all the steps with several different vocal lengths. But even with only 30mm I have to make 4 different adjustments for 4 different focus distances. The first one is at 0.3 meters. It looks not too bad, but the focus is slightly at the front of the 10. So I detach the lens from the camera, attach it again to the dock and connect it to the computer. Since we observed a front focus, we have to use a value greater than zero. Let's try three. Now make sure not to detach the lens from the dock until the software tells you to do so. I connect the lens again to my camera and take another picture. Yes, now it looks much better. Now I do the same with 0.4 meters focus distance. A value of plus six was perfect. And the same with 0.6 meters. You can see that the focus is between eight and nine. Plus 7 was not enough and I try plus 20. You can see that the focus is now between 11 and 12 so this was too far. Let's go back to 14. 14 still looks a bit too far. 11 is a bit too less. Yeah, 13 seems to be good. And the last focus distance is for everything until infinity. By default the focus seems to be at around 7 so I go to plus 15. Not enough. Plus 20. Still not enough. Now it seems like we have a problem because plus 20 is the highest value you can use. If the focus problems are bigger than that you can't fix it. I was quite disappointed by that but I decided to go out and simply take some pictures to see how real world pictures look like. I took my second camera with the Sigma 17-15 f2.8 with me and used the same settings on both cameras. I know that my Sigma 17-50 has a very reliable autofocus so I was quite surprised to observe that the 30mm f1.8 actually took sharper pictures than the 17 to 15 even though I thought the front focusing problem wouldn't be fixed at long distance shots. I went back to my room and now used the bigger cross. And now it actually looks quite promising. It seems like the cross was simply too small to reliably focus on. So I probably was very lucky that the front focusing problem was only as big as it could be fixed. Now I can finally take proper pictures with this lens. If you have any questions regarding this topic, feel free to write in the comments. Also check out my other videos to learn more about video DSLR.